Hi friends, enterprises have both structured and unstructured data. Structured data in the form of SQL databases and unstructured data in the form of documents. We want to build a generative QA system using both data sources and the system should figure out which data source to use at the time of answering the user query okay for example let's say the user ask a question which city has the highest population now assuming we have a table with cities statistics the system should use only sql database to answer this question let's say we ask another question which is tell me about the arts and culture of the city Tokyo. This answer would be typically based on the doc unstructured documents. So the vector store, uh, rag based vector store should be used. Whereas if a user asks a question like, tell me about the arts and culture of the city with highest population. Okay. So here we have two questions. First, we need to figure out which city has the highest population and then we can answer or we can find out about its arts and culture okay so for for this query our system should use both data sources right so at the time of inference the system should be able to do all this that's what we are going to build okay so first we will have a selector which will figure out Either it should go for SQL query engine or it should go for this vector based query engine. Now, if it goes for SQL query engine, it generate the SQL query and it synthesize a response and then it will figure out if we need, if it needs to ask a follow up question. Okay. If it does, then it goes to the vector store and it executes the follow up or we call subquery and it uses both the information to provide the final answer. For example, if we ask simply what city has the highest population, it takes this path, it figure out Tokyo has the highest population and then because that response adequately answer the user query end it here okay without generating any subqueries whereas if a user ask a question like this it takes still the same path once it generated that tokyo has the highest population then it generate this subquery this is the um, uh, uh, the important concept here so it figured out that tokyo is the city with highest population and then it created this follow up question what are some popular festivals and events in Tokyo. Okay, see in Tokyo, the original question is in the city with highest population. So we figured out it is Tokyo and then we are asking a follow up question and this question is directed to uh, the vector store. And here is our final response. Okay, we will build that system. All right, uh, we did a video on somewhat similar concepts so we'll go over it uh, a bit uh, quickly all right so we need a vector store and we need a sql database and we are going to scrape a wikipedia uh, for creating uh, some documents or uh, unstructured data so here i have a, a postgres database with some simple uh, data set uh, cities countries and the population okay so we connect to the database and then we create the SQL query engine by providing the database connection. And if we have too many tables, uh, obviously we cannot fit all of them into the context. So it's a good idea uh, to filter uh, only the tables which are relevant. Okay. So here uh, we are using only the cities table. All right. And then let's synthesize some unstructured data documents uh, using this Wikipedia uh, reader. All right. So here, uh, we have three cities, the same cities which are in the SQL database, Toronto, Berlin and Tokyo. Uh, we scrape Wikipedia pages 
and then we go over each wikipedia page and we read the content of the document we create a vector index okay and then we create a query engine uh, which is based on the top two uh, most semantically similar documents okay all right so these are lists uh, as we are creating one vector store for each city and correspondingly one query engine okay uh, this is just for the demo purpose uh, uh, otherwise uh, these three uh, wiki documents they can go into one uh, uh, vector store uh, if needed we can have metadata where we can store the city information so that based on the user query first we filter uh, metadata and then we do the actual uh, retrieval okay all right so we are going to convert these query engines into what is called as a uh, tools okay so we use this uh, query engine tool uh, so here uh, we are going over the three uh, vector stores uh, vector uh, query engines which we built here and we are converting them into this query engine tools okay uh, all we are simply doing is this uh, query engine uh, we are supplying along with this metadata this is the most uh, this is also very important the description because which tool to use is decided by the llm uh, based on this description so here we are saying uh, this tool uh, provides information about uh, this city so we we are going over these three cities so the first tool provide information uh, about toronto and then the second one berlin and the third one tokyo okay so we have converted the query engines uh, into these query tools now the most important concept here is this sub query engine so as i mentioned here if the llm or our system take this route first it query the sql database get the response and then decide if it needs to create this follow up query right which is called this sub query okay that's what we are doing here so here we are creating this sub question query engine or the follow up question a uh, query engine okay so we simply provide uh, these two uh, 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 vector index based tools we have created okay and similarly here we are creating the sql query tool by simply supplying the sql query engine again this description is very important so here we are saying hey this database has uh, the city stats which contains the population of this country slash cities okay all right and then uh, query engine tool yeah so using this sub query a uh, sub question query engine we convert that uh, into tool so it's a lots of jargon but uh, the concepts are very simple right so similar to the sql tool so what we did here is we have created these query engines we converted the query engines into tools we use those tools to create the sub query engine and the sub query engine we are converting it back to another tool okay so essentially we have created two tools okay and so we use these two tools uh, we combine them using this sql join query engine okay so to this we have provided these two tools okay so we use this query engine to invoke uh, whenever the user ask a question and based on the description of these tools uh, the engine will figure out uh, which tool to use whether it should take the sql path or it should take the vector index path now we see examples for all these three okay now let's come to this question uh, because uh, a bit later because this one is going to use all uh, uh, data sources now let's start with this very simple question okay so here we are asking can you give me the country corresponding to uh, corresponding to each city right so to answer this question uh, the sql table uh, is enough because here we have the cities and the countries so it said querying sql database uh, the first choice is about translating a natural language query uh, into sql query so and so forth and then it generated this sql query and 
here is the fine r after gen generating the response which is the sql query response so it said uh, uh, for each city or germany for berlin japan for tokyo and canada for toronto and then it's generating this sub query or the follow up question so as you can see here none which means the system figured out it already has adequate answer and it don't need to query anything further okay so that's why uh, it is none the follow up question is none and the final response is uh, uh, this one okay now let's ask a question which is purely dependent on uh, the vector stores okay so tell me about the history of berlin now this time it you will see querying other query engine as opposed to here querying sql database okay so it is using the uh, second tool uh, or uh, this one right it is using this uh, tool which is based on uh, the vector stores all right so all right querying the other engine and it generated this one sub question so what is the history of berlin which is the same question and here is the response okay and since it took this vector store uh, there isn't any follow up question so the follow up question is generated only if it took uh, the sql route uh, first okay now let's ask a final question which is compare and contrast the demographics of berlin and toronto okay so first now it first need to figure out the population of these two cities and then it can go into how the demographics compare maybe the gender uh, the age wise etc right so as you can see here it figured out first it need to query the sql database and it provided some explanation why it need to uh, query the sql database generated a sql query and here is the synthesized response so berlin has approximately this population and then toronto has this population since it first took the sql path it is going to generate a follow up or sub query okay so now it has created this query so you will see what are the age ethnicity and cultural diversity demographics of berlin and toronto so this is the original user query and the llm or our system it has generated this sub query okay now this query is further split into these six queries what is the age demographics of berlin what is the ethnicity demographics of berlin and what is the cultural diversity demographics of berlin and same questions are asked for toronto also okay so for each question here it generate a response or synthesize a response okay and here it combine all six sub queries responses and our final response is based on both the sql data sources which is the total population of uh, berlin and toronto which is here and here and then based upon those six sub queries here uh, is the generated response okay so it's a very cleverly designed system uh, depending on user query first it figure out the path to take and if it did take the sql path then it will figure out if it needs to ask a follow up question if it does then it ask that question and execute uh, on vector db and it combine the response from both sql query and the vector database and generate the final response okay that's all for this video thank you